Good morning, St. Francis. It is Tuesday, July the 6th, 2021, Tuesday of the 14th week of the year, the 14th week in ordinary time. Uh, still in Long Beach Island, New Jersey, as I said yesterday, um, on assignment uh, for this week. Um, and so, as you can see the beach, there are some Tai Chi people down on that end doing Tai Chi stuff. Um, and uh, this is the parish, yes, where St. Fra uh, Francis, where Stephen, for Father Stephen Kluge, uh, was assigned after St. Francis. Um, and so he sends his best fond remembrances still uh, of everyone at St. Francis. Francis, great care for everyone still at St. Francis. He was a little bit camera shy, to be with that, uh, and so uh, didn't come in today's uh, reflection, but maybe I'll get him to be able to show up uh, later on in the week. Um, in uh, the readings today, continue the story of Jacob uh, in Genesis, now in Genesis 33, I think it is. Uh, uh, Jacob uh, is moving uh, his people after running away from Esau. There has been reconciliation, and now he kind of moves back into the uh, Promised Land, crossing uh, the Jordan River, uh, sends his family and his belongings across the Jordan River. He stays on the other side. Um, and in that evening experience, a man comes and wrestles with him. Um, a, a, a great uh, athletic pastime wrestling. So, uh, wrestling with God, or maybe not sorry, wrestling God, wrestling with an angel, it says a man comes to him. Uh, the man is revealed as a divine being um, in, in some way, shape, or form later on. But it is interesting that as this divine being, this man who wrestles with Jacob, finds that he is losing. He touches Jacob's uh, hip socket where the sciatic muscle is uh, and um, and uh, causes uh, Jacob to become a little bit lame um, and, and limping. And so uh, the um, Jacob still will not give up, though. And uh, we're not giving up. Uh, God, um, the, the divine being, uh, reveals himself as such, um, and offers Jacob even further blessings uh, because he continued to contend with God, to wrestle with the divine being, or whatever it is, and did not give up. Um, important uh, for us to think about um, is that again, when we do wrestle with God, uh, if we wrestle with God at all, you know, what is it uh, that we can expect to happen afterwards? Um, it's not necessarily that we wrestle with God to get our own way, uh, but it is wrestling with God perhaps to know uh, what it is that we are called to do and be in this world and come to an appreciation an acceptance of it, a reception of it, what have you. So many times we might just think that we're going to just, you know, obey God and that's it. But sometimes it's necessary to wrestle with God, uh, to understand truly what it is that God wants from us, because it is in that wrestling that we come to that awareness and we come to that realization of God's plan for us. In that way, uh, the gospel, again, kind of complements, again, these readings never really are meant to complement each other, but the gospel kind of complements in which uh, Jesus, again, is uh, going throughout the countryside, healing people, getting rid of demons, as is his want in Matthew's gospel sometimes. Uh, but he realizes that people need more, um, and that they are like sheep without a shepherd. Um, and he prays uh, that there will be enough uh, people to go out, enough shepherds to go out to be able to pasture uh, the sheep uh, that Christ, that God cares about. Um, those shepherds are us. Those shepherds are us. And even though we might not realize it, even though we have trouble dealing with that, even though we might wrestle with God, with that designation, it still is ours uh, to do. It is still ours to be. It is still us who are the shepherds, us who must be able to carry on and continue uh, to offer people hope, to offer people compassion, to offer people um, a sense of dignity, uh, healing, worth, um, and value. Um, we are the shepherds because of our belief. We are the shepherds because uh, we dare to uh, proclaim uh, that Christ is Lord, that Christ is risen, um, that life um, has been changed forever. Let us always embrace that responsibility and allow more and more people to come into that embrace uh, that is God's love and care for all of us. And may the Lord give you peace.